Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor the 138th anniversary of the founding of the Revenue Cutter School of Instruction, the predecessor of today's Coast Guard Academy, on July 31, 1876. On that day, the Academy's first training exercise was held aboard the two-masted topsail schooner Dobbin with a class of nine cadets. The class boarded the Dobbin in Baltimore, Maryland for a two-year training mission led by Captain John Henricks. Training aboard the ship emphasized seamanship and navigation, as it still does each summer when cadets still sail on board the Coast Guard Bark Eagle. Today, the Coast Guard Academy, located in New London, Connecticut since 1910, is the home of the Corps to, the, to a Corps of nearly 1,000 cadets, 200 of whom graduate each year. The Coast Guard Academy produces almost half of the service's corps of commissioned officers and has graduated distinguished leaders such as Thad Allen, Bob Papp, and the present Commandant of the Coast Guard, uh, Admiral Paul Zunkumpf who lead our Coast Guard and, and serve the nation. Today it is led by the first woman officer to lead a United States Military Academy, Admiral Sandra Stowes. As co-chair of the Congressional Coast Guard Caucus and the representative of Connecticut's 2nd District, home to the Coast Guard Academy, I'm honored to recognize its distinguished beginnings and the long-standing traditions of leadership and excellence which continue to serve our, our country. I yield back the balance of my time.